Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change, and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. But you're so right, we're losing track of time. Buying things online, and it's not like. Good morning, everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Date Night of Nikki in the beautiful city of Nairobi. It used to kind of look like this, more towards a rural kind of area, still developing. But all of a sudden, they have like these massive buildings, hotels. It's crazy. It's my hotel room. I just got dressed. Now I still have to do my makeup. I got an early morning wake up call from my dad. And this is the outfit that I will be going with today. It's still a little bit chilly, cold this side, so I've decided to, you know, keep it up. Some heat. So I'm so excited to be here and be part of day two. Um, we are flying um, to the coast today. Um, so when we get there, I will give you a display of the beach house. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoyed the previous one and the one before that. And there are so many more to come, so stay tuned. And have a good morning. <laughs> so I don't usually do this. I feel horrible to do this, but I completely forgot my face wipes. Um, and they are in my mom and dad's room, which is a little bit far to run down to. So I'm just taking off the majority of the makeup from yesterday because I was editing last night. We got in around 12, editing until around 1.30. Um, just to make sure that I stay updated with every day's video because it's so much work and cropping and cutting and editing and music and things as such. So that's the only tough part about this situation. Um, I don't mind keeping busy though, I am having a good time. There's this song that they used to sing to us which obviously, oh and I'm so thankful for the lashes because you just wake up and like your makeup looks like it's been done. The bruising on my lip is still a little bit bad and it's getting better. Um, the nice thing about the lashes are you just wake up and it looks like your makeup's really done. But there used to be this song going off of me. And um, I, st I still remember crying to it in, like, in my first South African school when we just got there. And everyone was so different and speaking Afrikaans and English and there was like no Swahili or no like international people around. And I remember that whenever you would get to the airport and the people would pick you up, they would play or sing a song. Um, and they didn't do it yesterday, but the song has been playing in my head, so I'm going to sing it to you guys. And uh, I couldn't, please forgive me. Um, all the Kenyans watching, if I get the words wrong, it's been a minute. But I do remember it being something like... Jambo, Jambo Bwana, Abari Gani, Mzuri Sana, Wageni, Wagari Bishwa, Kenya Yetu, Hakuna Matata, something like that. And so that song has been playing over and over in my head. It basically just means, you know, um, hello boss or friend, welcome to Kenya. Um, there's no problems here, kind of have a good time. So I had to sing you the, the Kenyan little anthem that I got, that I was like raised with. So now you've heard it all, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna go down for breakfast and um, then we're flying down to the coast. I'm so excited, it's not your normal plane, it's literally one of those small planes with like the turbines on the side. Um, so it's always a little bit nerve wracking, you always feel safe in a bigger plane, but I trust we will be all right. And I'm so excited for today's video because today we really, really, really get to dig deeper into what Kenya is, not just Nairobi, the main city, but what goes on around Nairobi. And there's so much beauty in it. So, let me get myself fixed and I'll see you at breakfast.
finally on the flight on our way to Diani, but I think how does it work? When we get there, we take the taxi to the to the. Oh, okay. So when we get there, then we take a taxi to the beach house. The flight is about an hour to an hour and a half. So it's a very quick flight. It's a very small plane, as you saw, and it's pink, my favorite color, which is really cute. So I'm looking forward to introducing you guys to the beach house and the beautiful beaches of Diani. landed and they took our temperatures and it looks like we are finally here now it's a 15 minute drive to the beach house and then we'll be there Yay. so this is how they actually bring us our suitcases <laughs> so we have to go claim our suitcases right now um, now we are in Africa, baby. <laughs> so we finally, finally at our final destination. Busy loading our suitcases and then next is the beach house. Yay! So I hope you've enjoyed everything thus far. I think the beach house is the main event. Welcome to the beach house. <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay>. Hello! <laughs> Thank you! Martha, you are more square. Yeah, we can go. Oh, thank you! And your name is? Martha. Martha. Yeah. Hello, Martha. Hello. And your name is? Caroline. Caroline, nice to meet you. Thank you. And you? I'm Nikki. Nikki. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Good to see you. I haven't been back in 10 years. Yeah, 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 we are jumping. But you came when you are still very young. 13, and now I'm 20, so I'm almost 40. I'm 23. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow, yeah, really cool. So these are like little couches to chill on. <laughs> Fos, is this my room oh it's beautiful i see the nets yeah oh, wow thank you so much you are welcome my dear you're welcome 
Wow. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> this is the bathroom. There's our shower. My mom and dad's bedroom. Of course, I get the best view. Echo moms. This is a bathroom. And you can hear the ocean. Let me take you guys out and downstairs. I'm so excited. So, we are officially at the coast. Yay! So, I came here dressed, all heated up. So, now I've decided to take off most of everything my tights and stuff, and my jewelry, and that kind of thing. Just because it's so hot and humid here, I wish I could explain it to you guys. It's like I'm sticky already. And this is the rainy season, so imagine in the summer. So I'm just going to put this back on and take you guys back down to the beach. Okay, I've scarred you enough, so let me take you to the beach, guys. This is literally where I grew up. It feels like, oh, it feels like I was here yesterday. I can't believe it. So I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the video because this beach house is incredible. And we we have a different one that sleeps like 12 people. So, But this time we decided to go with a smaller one because it's only like three of us. So it's a lot of electricity and stuff and staff to waste. So, okay, but let me show you the beach. So it's like beautifully tropical. I'm always scared there's gonna be a coconut that falls on my head. There we've got some tanning chairs. We've got a hammock there and a hammock here. And we've got a lot of people. I didn't think it would be so busy because of COVID, but they did say tourism has gone up, which is great and a lot more is allowed. So I'm taking you down to the beach. Breaking, and then you go out there to the island and you can go snorkeling and etc so welcome welcome to the coast of kenya yes this is what dreams are made of and yes photos do not do it justice so i'll take you guys on a walk later when i'm better dressed um but this is our beautiful kenya this is my home we've got the little boats there um which we usually swim to when we have the guts and that's it this is the beautiful kenya <laughs> let me switch the camera to myself thank you for watching this episode guys i think it's the most exciting episode this far i can't wait to start i don't even want to edit i just want to be in nature and like indulge and evolve and reset my mind because this place is amazing it's so incredible um so yeah thank you for all the love and support so